Hello everybody, welcome back, happy Tuesday. So today we're making a glowing ghost cake, which I think is so cool. So last year I made glowing cupcakes with tonic water, but this year I'm doing something slightly different and we're making the ghost glow with glow sticks. This is a chocolate cake and it's topped with peanut butter buttercream, which I am obsessed with. It tastes so good. And I'm also gonna show you how to make the little meringue ghosts which are sitting on top. So let's get started. So first, to make the meringue ghost, you wanna combine some egg whites and cream of tartar in a large bowl and beat with an electric mixer until the eggs are foamy. Increase the speed of the mixture, and then once the eggs become opaque, add half of the sugar. Continue beating until the egg white starts to stiffen, then add the remaining sugar and beat until stiff peaks form. Place the mixture into a piping bag fitted with a large round piping tip. Pipe dollops onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper, making several large ghosts and some smaller ghosts. They get 200 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 to 90 minutes or until they're dry and crisp to the touch. Then you want to turn off the oven, open the oven door slightly, I stuck a wooden spoon between the door and the oven, and then leave the ghosts to dry completely for six hours or up to overnight. Then gently draw faces onto the ghosts with an edible ink pen and gently make holes into the bottoms of the large ghosts with a sharp knife. Then just set those aside. To make the cake, beat the butter and sugar with an electric mixer until it's pale and fluffy. Add the vanilla extract and eggs one at a time, mixing with each addition. In a separate bowl, combine the flour, cocoa powder, salt, and baking soda, and mix well. Add this to the batter in two additions, alternating with the buttermilk. Then add some chocolate chips and mix well. Pour the batter into two greased and floured 9-inch round cake pans. They get 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 40 minutes or until a skewer inserted into the cakes comes out clean. To make the buttercream, beat the peanut butter and butter with an electric mixer until it's smooth. Add the vanilla extract and combine. Then add the confectioner's sugar one cup at a time, mixing with each addition. So then to make the purple drizzle, combine some melted white chocolate and whipping cream. Dye the ganache purple and allow it to cool slightly while you assemble the cake. So to assemble the cake, slice the tops off the cakes to level the surfaces. Spread some of the buttercream onto one cake and place the other cake on top. Then you want to spread some more buttercream on top of that cake and a scant amount around the sides of the cake so that you can see the cake through the buttercream. Snap the glow sticks to trigger the glowing function, wrap them in plastic wrap and insert them into the cake. Then drizzle the purple drizzle onto the cake, allowing it to drip off the sides. And you want to make sure that the glow sticks are just long enough so that they peek over the top of the cake. Not super long, so I actually had to like kind of reshoot the cake and go out and buy some shorter glow sticks. But this is how you learn. Slide the larger ghosts on top of the glow sticks and decorate the rest of the cake with some small ghosts. Place the cake in a very dark room or outside. I had to go into the bathroom to get a really good shot. So if you're having like a party and it's pitch black outside, that is the time to serve this cake. And you can watch the ghosts glow and you are done. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. If you would like to see the glowing cupcakes recipe, definitely click here and check it out. And if you're looking for some other Halloween recipes, my Halloween recipe playlist is right here. Make sure to stay tuned on Thursday for another Halloween recipe and I will see you guys then. Bye.